The next thing we'd like to talk about is, Coach, how far or how hard should I throw in practice? We don't like to get wrapped up in the tape measure because if you're spending the whole time measuring every throw, then you're not working on your technique and you're not getting your proper volume of throwing. A lot depends on, is the hammer your primary event? And I'm talking to you, to most of you, as if it is. And if you're a hammer thrower like myself, then you need to throw the hammer. You need to get out three to four times a week. You need to do your drills and you need to take between 15 to 25 throws per practice, depending on what your time frame is uh, for your practice. The other thing you need to determine is what works best for you, the toe turn or the heel turn. Again, I've experimented with both. I'm currently using the four turn technique starting on the toe. What that gives you an opportunity to do is to wind more relaxed, to enter a little bit slower since that toe turn is like a third wind. If you're going to be a three turner, then you're gonna to have to wind stronger and use the ball right from the get go and be off to the races. What we're gonna do now, those last couple throws that John and Jake took, what I like to say, they're rhythm throws, which means that we're working on technique. They're not really mattering where the distance is going. They're just working on trying to stay in the center of the system, push with the right side, relax the shoulders, keep the chin back, a slight bend in the left knee, and that's a lot of things to think about. The hammer is a very technical event, but what we try to do is make it simplistic by just using it as a motion or turning as a system and then all those things work together. When we want to throw a little bit harder, I'll tell them in practice, all right, now let's bring these throws up to tempo. Tempo means that they're going to use the ball a little stronger on their winds. They're going to use the ball a little stronger later in the throw to really accelerate the system right into the finish. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Jake in now. We're going to show you the dif difference between a rhythm and a tempo throw. So he's going to take his hammer. His first throw is going to be rhythm. Let's say the first one's going to go about 190 feet. Then he's going to use a tempo throw and that should be about 210 feet. So there's the difference between the rhythm and the tempo and see if you can pick up how he uses it differently. The first throw will be more relaxed. The second throw will be more dynamic. Neither throw will be all out.